She had the nerve to tell me he couldn't possibly have a headache. Uh, you know, some of the older generation in, in their stoic stubbornness and not, not talking about their pain, right? So I'm going to share a little bit about my father right now. Um, he, he was, he was in a, a facility, um, a cancer survivor, and he, he had dementia and, <laughs> you know, he had some chemo and some radiation, but they decided they weren't going to stop doing that because it, it, it affected the quality of life. So they did. And he, he, and the reason that he ended up passing is because he ended up with sepsis in his, in his, um, uh, colon, right? Like the, the whole gastro tract, right? And he didn't say anything about the pain that he was in for two days. And they, you know, by the time they discovered how much sepsis he had, um, it, it was pretty much too late. So when, when someone of that kind of character says they're in pain, they really are, right? Like, and, and for her to tell you that he couldn't possibly have a headache, it, I mean, honestly, that sounds egregious. I told her, we had a meeting in the hospital when Matt was in the hospice unit, and I told her. I said, when, when a caregiver tells you their loved one's in pain, you better believe them. 